this is Victor. I'm here with a new weekly painting and this week I just received during the week a question about what is the right texture or, the, or how, how much you have to thin the paint to do a blending, to, to make a blending. So I, I figured to, to do this example on top of this base because I think it's going to be easier for me to show how it has to look like. So first of all, if the paint is too dry, you will see that it's difficult, it, it, you will have paint, but you will you will not have quite a good control. So, uh, for me, what I do is, I, uh, I'm using you know, the wet palette to show you. So what you want to do, let me see if here you can see him better. Uh, okay, this is a, dry, a too dry paint. So you will see that you, you will have this type of, uh, that you put a lot at the beginning and then it's very difficult to drag the paint. Okay, so if I go to something that is more thin down, and I prepare this in front, this is a different color, so normally what you want is that the paint is doing something like that, and this is a little bit too much thin, but if you want to blend, you want to go something like that, that you can do really thin layers, and if you start going on top of this, most likely, in that case this is not primer, so you will start rubbing, but of, of course in that case, you see that when it's drying, you have like texture, Okay, is you will see that there is uh, is not uh, you're giving uh, you can see more uh, the the brush strokes and then what you don't want it's that is too thin neither so you have to avoid that and try to prepare here something that is too thin okay so what you want to avoid let me see if here I have is something like that okay this is too thin when it's like milk. When it's milky, for me, it's too thin. So you want something that flows easily, that you can spread easily, but uh, is, uh, is not like milk. I always recommend to have clean water with you to moisture your brush when you're doing it. So, and then I'm going to do here like a blending, okay? So let's paint first. As you can see, this is quite thin, okay? Uh, it's quite, but it, know that I have some texture here it's mixing quite well, okay? Normally you can use retardant, if um, uh, brush retardant, if you want to make a blending. I, I will do this here just using water as to, to, and I will use the previous color that was too thin, I will add some water to make it thinner, okay? So here you have, this is the right, okay? This hole will look like, very easy to spread, if you remember from the previous. So you see, you do one brush and it's really, you, you do quite evenly, okay? So you can then drag more and more and then you can take out, okay? So let's start here. With this texture, what you try to do is you keep your paint wet on the part of the transition and then you, you on your palette, you have on your wet palette, you try to make a middle mixture in between the two colors and then you start just going with the lighter one on top of the of this darker okay and what you try to do is okay this you try to, to you have you want to go fast so know that here the transition is too strong you you you're working now with the with the darker color and you try just to go there and you work on the other direction so on the clear color you go to one direction so now it will Take again the clear color. We'll start from here, and I will go up to there. Okay, and this is how you see that it's very easy to, to blend. So this is the way for me to blend the colors. So really, and you see that I can, I, I was very easily create a gradient. Then I go, I can go even lighter here. So I put another lighter color, and then with the same texture. You see, it's not dry, and then you start mixing up. Okay, when it does happen, that is because. So you you just clean your brush, and it's a way. So just is for me the, the easiest way for me to do color transitions. Uh, I will never do color transitions no using um, dry brush. I tried in the past when I was starting, and it's really messing up with the paint job. So. You will see, I go there and then here you start mixing up. So 
I hope this is answering the question how to do color blending. So you can even go darker if you want. No, on the other side. I also think, so again, just to show you, I will take this, this jet rising so it will not go well here because it's, it's just, but this is how you want to look like, okay? Okay, you see that the paint, the paint has to be a little bit transparent. So have to be, and this is the, 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 the type of texture that you want. What you don't want at all is a texture like that, okay? When the paint is breaking. When you see this, when this is happening, is that the paint is too thick, okay? And then I will turn to the other side. When this happens, is that the paint is too thin, okay? When this happens, that is it's making like watery effects. So you want just to show you, you want something that is something like that, okay? That you have the control. If it's too watery, you will lose very easily the control of of the paint, and then will go where you want. So again, if I make this paint too watery, I add more water to here, okay? And I can add even more water. And there is always, I'm using water now, that is not the best thinner that you can use. Okay. So here I have really to use a lot of water to thin this down to a level that is not acceptable. I will just do one side. On the wet palette you have much control on home, but no, you see now it's too watery. It's lo almost looking like an aquarella. When you have this effect, like an aquarella, it's not the right thickness. Okay, so uh, again, with the previous th um, theme, I apply here. No, this is too watery. Uh, I'm just using the one that I watered too, da too much. Okay, this is too a little bit too watery. But again, this, is, this can help you to, to do the mixture, okay? And then you go with the previous color, the next color next to, him, to it. And you can do the blend quite easily. Okay, if it's too watery and you have the feeling that it was too watery, stop painting. Wait until the the brush until the paint is completely dry, and this is the way to go. So here was quite. I wanted to show you quite uh, uh, just to focus on a question: What is the right uh, dilution of a paint to do? Uh, don't if you want to do blending. Try to use a wet palette, okay? So I had, you see, all the colors, and to be fair, these colors were in that wet palette for one month, or I think since I paint even more, I think I've been in this wet palette for um, no, uh, I would say almost two months, and what I what you have is, is just you have a Tupperware, you cover, it's like Tupperware with a sponge, you have um, water here, and now it's a little bit dry, so you want to add a little bit of water and it's, you have this green color because I use it all the side of the sponge. So really you want to keep it watery and this is helping you a lot to have the right thing, thing of the paint. When you stop using that, close it and this is a way to keep your, your paint fresh. And also, as, you can, as, as I was explaining during this, this tutorial, uh, if you put, put the paint one next to each other, you can make intermediate colors to facilitate your blending on the wet palette. This is how I used to work. So you see here in reds, and I have the other blues. So what I just did know to do this blending here is I take this, this, I add a little bit of water to the paint, because it's drying a little bit, but never to the point that it cannot be used, and I just repaint. You see here, very fast, how to make a transition of colors. This can be thinner if you want, you can make the transition nicer and softer, but it was just a way to show you how to, uh, what is the texture and how to do uh, this type of blending or color transitions. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show here. Uh, just uh, I hope this is solving the question that I received in my channel. I hope this is helping. And please let me know if there is any other technique or any other question that you would like to see on the weekly painting. So in this week, I just focus on how, what is the right texture and the, uh, how you have to thin the paints and to, to have a good blending. Here you have and then the other example on when it's too much wet, too much water uh, versus when it's the right texture. And then here you see these ones was done with 
too thick paint and this have the right texture okay so if you have the, the if it's too too thick you will notice that it's difficult to drag so what you want is that the brush is easily making a straight line so if you can make this easily and the paint and you can do this line very easily normally a lot of people is testing on the nail uh, if you can do this uh, and you see that the paint is flowing very easily this have the the right uh, is seen it correctly if the paint is not being dragged very easily it means that it's too thick and if after dragging the paint you see that this is spreading it's too much thin normally if you have the milky texture it's 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 too thin to paint at least for my taste or for my techniques that's all a little bit of theory, a little bit of uh, showing you, uh, trying to share with you my knowledge and I hope this has been useful. Uh, yeah, please let me know what do you think and if there is any other technique that you would like to know, just leave it there, uh, give, leave the question in the, in the, description, in the con comments below. Uh, as usual, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later. Bye!